Hey everybody, it is uh, time for me to do my weekly Big Brother video. Um, as you know from my past video and even my ones many years ago, I have watched Big Brother from season one, so I am a really big Big Brother fan and I love the show. But this season has driven me up the freaking wall. It is a such a different mixture of people that it's been such a crazy season, but it keeps me on the edge of my damn seat, I'll tell you. But I'm going to talk about some things that are going on on the live feeds and people are writing on Twitter and things like that. First issue I want to talk about is people saying that Jess and Cody are the biggest villains in Big Brother history. I totally disagree with that. They are the villains of this season, kind of. I think there is another villain that's even bigger that people haven't quite put two and two together yet. And I think we all know what I'm talking about, but I'll get to that in a minute. I think in the as far as them being the worst, no. I think Dr. Will was a was worse. I think Allison was terrible. I think Gina Marie. I think that girl, um, Aaron, that was on there a couple years ago. I think, you know, they, uh, Evil Dick, they said far worse things. They said racist comments. They were really, really awful. A couple of them even lost their jobs for things that they said on, on the show and live feeds. And I think that they were by far bigger villains than Jess and Cody to be you know, just called that. Even Rachel, Rachel was a bigger villain to me than, than Jess and Cody have been uh, to overall. I'll say, uh, you know, this season certainly, and I think every season of Big Brother has to have a villain or it's not going to work. Um, I still think the villain is the same this season as the same, was the same villain last season. That should definitely tell you who I'm talking about. But I'm going to talk about the people real quick. I'm going to talk about Jason. Jason, it, He's either here or there for me. I, I think he's just kind of there, and he doesn't really do a lot for me. He says some funny things, but I think he's just kind of the pawn that everybody just kind of moves around, and Jason does what he that what they want him to do. I love Kevin. I think Kevin is hysterical. I think his stuff on you know he does on live feeds is funny. I love his friendship with Christmas. I think Kevin was trying to really do something and reach out to Cody and I think that that was a big gesture for, for Kevin um, but I think it's going to put a target on his back certainly from the king villain of all villains who is going to be angry that he did that um, Elena I'm not a big fan of hers I think she is definitely um, just kind of boring to me and she's always bitching and complaining about things and I think she's so worried about being put on the block. I think that, she, you know, she had this showmance with Mark and she kind of broke his heart. And, you know, her just her flip flopping back and forth drives me nuts. And she's just kind of eh. Matt and Raven. I like them as people. I think they're very funny and they're, they're a cute little couple. They're a precious couple. I actually said to somebody yesterday, I hope that they get married in real life because I think they have that magic that, that you know, like Rachel and Brendan and Jeff and Jordan had together on the show. And I could see them being married and having a fun relationship. But as far as gameplay, I think they're just there having a good time. And I think that they are just spending a summer there to you know hey this is fun we have a little romance we're just having a summer they're not trying to play the game they're not really caring if they win or lose they're just kind of there and i think they think they're going to fly by for a while but i don't know um well let's see who's left oh Al, uh, alex i love alex and i was so glad she won the hoh tonight i didn't like her in the beginning i think she drove me nuts at the beginning but now i really like her i think she's a hell of a competitor I think she's funny. Um, I think she is going to really go far in this game if she plays her own game and stops playing Paul's game. I think she could be in the top two and really, really stand to win this game. Um, Mark, I like Mark a lot. Mark's was, at one time, he was one of my favorite people in the house. I think he's still one of my favorites. I know he stabbed a lot of people in the back and stuff, but... Mark has a great heart deep down inside, and I think Mark is taking a lot of this really personal coming from his being bullied and stuff. And being that way myself, I can certainly understand how Mark takes things a little more personal than other people. So I think like his fight with Josh, and, and which escalated into more and more and more, and then, you know, he his breakup with Elena and all the things that went on, I think it really affected Mark. And I think Mark has really lost his focus a little bit in this game. And I'd like to see him get it back. Um, 
I think he's probably going to be the target this week for Alex. I think she's probably going to put up him and Elena. Um, even though I think other people should go up instead of those two. But I think that's really where Alex is going to target this week. Um, is Mark. But um, if you watch the live feeds a lot, Mark just sometimes looks really sad and like he's got lost everything in the house. And I do think he's really lonely. And so I think that really bothers me. Um, Cody, Cody's still there. And as I said, Cody's crazy. He's, he's probably the most... Uh, sometimes I wonder how he even passed the, the test to get on Big Brother. But that man's a hell of a competitor. I think he's really going to go after revenge this week. I think he's... He just... If he... He needs to kind of stay under the radar, though, this week and kind of just play low and not piss Alex off. But I think if he really sat down with Alex, I think they could be a hell of a power team um, because he liked her so much in the beginning and he kept her safe in the beginning. So I'm hoping this week that they'll actually have a conversation that will lead them into becoming friends and being on the same page. Now, I'm going to talk about Paul. I do not like Paul. I didn't like Paul season last season. I just don't like him. I think he is controlling everybody. He's trying to play uh, Will's game from Big Brother 1 by being the puppet master leading right around. And I think that this cast is really dumb because in the past, whenever a veteran was in, they were everybody was gunning for them. Bam, 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 bam. And in this season, it's like they're just letting Paul play this game for them. And I was really upset with Josh and his HOH because I thought that Josh was... Um, going to do his own game. I saw him having some conversation with Christmas and I thought things were going to go a different way. I thought they were going to backdoor Paul or whatever. Didn't happen. Josh did exactly what Paul wanted. Even with getting Christmas to use the ring of replacement, it was just all Paul's doing. And I hate that, that Paul has everybody so intimidated. As you know, I do not like Josh. I, I do not like him at all. I think he's a whiny baby. I'm not going to change my opinion of that no matter what. I would have had a little bit maybe more respect for Josh had he have done that and not made her use the ring of replacement or played his own game. He was originally going to backdoor um, Paul and then he decided he wanted to get Elena out and he didn't, but then he didn't talk to anybody or try to convince anybody to do that. He said, oh, I'm going to really step my game up and try to get people to do it, but he never did. He got in this big fight with Jessica, which I agree that fight with Jessica, I agree with Julie Chen, I think it cost Jessica, her game this week. I think had that not been the case, maybe, but I don't know. But Josh is just, uh, he's one of the people, I would consider him probably one of my least favorite people in the house right now and probably in the game history for me right now. Uh, maybe he'll change my mind, but I, I don't see that. I just, I don't like people playing the victim, and I think he does that too much. I know he misses his family, but everyone else in that house does too, and they don't behave that way. So I just think it's wrong, and I think he he knew better than to behave the way he did and to allow Paul to let him do that. I love Christmas. I think she's funny. I think she's beautiful. She's so pretty. She's one of the prettiest women I've ever seen in my life on that show. And I like that she's starting to get wise and wise up to what's going on around her. So I'm hoping that she'll start planting the seed about Paul, because I'm telling you guys, whenever, if Paul gets evicted... I will be jumping up and down. Y'all will see my me just rejoicing and, and just having the greatest time because I would love to see Paul get thrown on his ass. I wanted it so bad last season and it didn't happen. So, I, and I'll be honest, I did. I literally jumped up out of my chair and danced around my living room when Paul lost last season because I just, I don't like the guy. So I'm hoping and praying that Alex does this this week, but I don't see it. But maybe Christmas, my girl Christmas can pull it together and get him going. But that's my Big Brother report this week. Let's stay tuned and see what's going on. If anything fabulous happens, I'll do another one. But let's just let's keep playing Big Brother because this is a hell of a season. And these are some, you know, weird people. And um, I'm going to, I am, I just want to say this real quick before I close. I really do, I'm going to miss Jess a little bit because I thought she was, she was humorous to me at times. I know she was harsh and she said a lot of mean things to people. But I do believe that Cody and Jess really do love each other. And I agree with Julie Chen. I think that, that, Cody really does love Jess, and I believe that together, if they wouldn't have so many people, they could have really just dominated this game. But I think she did mess up, and she really did, and I think her fight with Josh was, again, her worst mistake. So you guys, anyway, keep watching Big Brother, and I will talk to you next week for my Big Brother review. Bye.